Yeah. Yeah, somebody trying to destroy my son Travis, yo. Shit crazy in these streets. And then on top of that. Yeah, so it's just those two stories, and people don't know your. Today on Face It, pull up. I pulled up on what's your name? Fame Life. You yeah. ain't the space gang, you know what it is. Yeah. That's right, that's yeah. right. Fame, man. Indeed, indeed. Where you from, man? Brooklyn, maybe. That's Brooklyn by way also Virginia, because I spent a lot of time out there too. But Brooklyn is my home and shit. That's you know what's what up, Colonel Heights, you know what it is. Tell the tell the people like what do you do? So or should I tell them what I don't do? I mean, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, these possibilities is infinite. Possibilities is infinite. Possibilities is infinite. Nah, but I'm, um, first and foremost, I'm a hip hop artist. You know what I'm saying? I make dope ass vibey music. Just anything. Anything, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? For your mood, head there, ready to party, ready to chill, all of that type shit. I'm a writer. I write for myself and others. You know what I'm saying? In the words of Jay Z. You feel me? And then I'm uh, also a weed chef. I love to cook and I love to infuse the food and shit. I make edibles, regular food, infuse all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? My second passion, because yeah. it's just like music. You could take something from a blank slate and create. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then um, also I'm an event planner. I throw on events. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I rent out uh, spaces. I organize, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And put on concert shows. Whatever, you know what I mean? Decorations, interior decorate. Like I learned a lot of doing a lot of that, doing audio and visual work. I used to do AV work. So I learned a lot of that shit from watching uh, interior decorates with big ass companies like Apple, Sprint, you know what I mean? Yeah, Fashion man. Week, all that shit. Plugged in for real. Yeah, word, word. Yeah. So I get a lot of my ideas from that because it gives you definitely, a, uh, it gives you a split off from just your usual party. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my son banging. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it Big gives dog. you a, a different view of, of parties rather than saying, I like themes. So mm -hmm. I give you incentives, you know what I'm saying? Shit to come and enjoy that you don't hear about from right. other parties. That's just a party. So you, you got a lot of experience, there. bro. Yeah, man. You're everywhere. Yeah, God damn, real. man. Real. Okay, so what don't you do? God damn it. Um, I don't. I'm not a swimmer instructor. You're not a swimmer? Yeah, no, I'm not a swimmer instructor. I'm a swimmer, oh. but I can't instruct you how to swim. That's probably the only oh. thing I don't do. Man. Being that you're um, a music artist, that's the reason why I kind of linked up with you. Yeah. I heard your music. You had uh, a track called, um, I think it was uh, Smoothie or? Smoothie. I need my smoothie, please, the gigantic. Uh, so behind that joint, um, it's basically start off because I stopped eating meat like five years ago and shit. Mm. And in New it's York good. and shit, coming up, coming up as a kid, we didn't eat our home food and shit. It was like limited choices on mm -hmm. the on the block. So you had pizza, Chinese food, um, Jamaican food, or the deli mm -hmm. and shit. But it was nothing like fully, fully healthy the and bodega? shit. We could get your yeah, yeah, in a bodega. Yeah. So you could get your your nutrients that you yeah. need for the day and shit. Yeah, so, my fault, my fault. I'm a professional. My fault. <laughs> Damn. But yeah. But yeah, so doing that, it took a, um, a, a, well, yeah, so we didn't have none of those uh, type choices. So as we got older and the hood started to change, it became yeah. more gentrified and shit, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And they started adapting to the people that was moving in. So they started getting healthier options, started getting smoothie machines and shit. Mm -hmm. And the way we live in New York is a move fast pace. So the quickest way to get your nutrients real fast, if you can't sit down and eat for whole meals in a smoothie, you can pack it all in, get anything you want up in there, mix it up, and that shit is good. Cause I used to hate vegetables, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I pack that shit in the smoothie and I'm good to go. And you get all your servings type shit. Real so I was like, you know, this would be a great song to make. Cause I had to beat for a minute. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this would be a great song to make. And I mean, to spread awareness, the message. I put a recipe in the hook and then it's just something for people to vibe with. So, so really, you talking about health, like you yeah. really putting awareness out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for, for sure, man. Like, Making sure all the jokes aside, all that foolery, all that fuckery, like you went straight to the source. You were like, yo, this could 
it can yeah. really help you. Exactly, exactly. Put that good. immune system strong, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize like your body is your biggest weapon, it's your strongest Real weapon. Real All sad. you gotta do is fuel it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you gotta fuel it with the right nutrients, you okay. know what I'm saying? Put that shit in the smoothie, eat that shit. It's not a smoothie, please. Please. Right, it's definitely not. <laughs> Yeah. Not sponsored. Not but, even sponsored by Chick Fil A. I need to hide that. <laughs> bro, you gonna have to. Mm -hmm. You gotta put tape on that shit. I'm but yeah, blur it out. but yeah, man. So that was the basis behind that. Um, I did the music video. Um, I had went. I was actually supposed to do it in uh, Styles P uh, Juices for Life Shop, mm. but the realtor who kn knows him couldn't get in contact for him and with him in the time we needed it for the video. Yeah. So he ended up uh, contacting this other smoothie guy who's uh, been in business for like 30 years with his family. Mm -hmm. And now he's running it. He's like closer to my age. Yeah. So he really uh, loved the song. He listened to the song. He loved it. Got and, a smoothie uh, shop. Okay. And I was like, yo, can we shoot a video in yeah. here? And he was like, yeah, of course. So that day I bought like a right. hundred smoothies. Sorry, guys. Sorry. You're good. Yeah, you're nah, good. You're good. Man. So we yeah. bought out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we bought, I bought like a hundred smoothies that day and I just yeah. gave them out to like the community, people yeah. came to I the video. I saw the video, hell oh, like yeah, that. you gotta so, tune in and watch that video. Yeah, I'm probably sure. gonna put like a little clip up there of yeah, the video. Yeah. Um, can I do that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, for I gotta sure. talk to hell the artist. Yeah. I don't want <laughs> you to yeah. sue my yeah. ass. Smoothie, yeah, please, Smoothie. the gigantic. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah. was the vibe. And then just like the hook is infectious. Like when you hear it, yeah. it's like you just, you hear it anytime you get a smoothie now. It's, it's just a thought it's in dope. your head and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, That's dope. why I made it like that so it's repetitious. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Smoothie, smoothie please. please. Smoothie. Nah, nah, you like, damn. Every time I get a smoothie, I hear your song. And that's what just keeps people on your on your radar and shit. You mm. know what I mean? No, it's, I like that shit, bro. For sure. You got another song called like um, King of the Hill or? Uh, beat my chest. Beat my chest. Yeah, that's the newest joint drop out. That's a little bit more personal about mm -hmm. my my uh my upbringing and shit like that, and just the the struggles and the things that built built my strength as a as an artist and shit from young and the people that was around me, like my step pops, my moms and shit. That just added to the pot. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The gumbo pot of sure, me sure. being everywhere. So yeah, that's that joint. Like, what brought you to Florida? Cause New York, you know, everybody <laughs> think. Once you're in New York, that's the Mecca. That's gonna get you out there. Of course. Your ass came to Florida. Exactly, where it's more so, what the hell? it's because like, the real New York is, wrong. The, the real New York is, is dipping out of New York. You know what I'm saying? Cause oh, yeah. it's not what it used to be. It's a lot of reputi uh, rep reputation. It's a lot of everybody just copycatting. Real doing shit. the same thing. And Real that kind of, yeah. And it kind of blew my creativity. My creativity, my creativeness, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. it was like I reached like a, a top and it's like, yo, I need a different view. And then especially I left like when it was cold and in New York during the winter time is like the most depressing time because it's fucking mad snow. A lot of shit is closed. You want to go out, but it's cold as fuck. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, why am I torturing too. my life by being in this cold ass weather? Like I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's go somewhere where I can be out by the water. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? and have a good time. So I went on tour first. I went on two tours and shit. I was up and down the East Coast, uh, finished off in Georgia and shit. So I was around Georgia and shit. Went back to New York. I was like, yo, when I go back to New York, yo, I'm dipping. So I had a, a homie that was out here. Shout out to my boy, Khaled Anderson and shit. Um, he was up in New York. He dipped at the beginning of the pandemic. He came back here. He's originally from here, West Palm. So I was like, yo, I'm going to come down, see what you got going on. He had a mm -hmm. studio situation. He's like, yo, come down here, let's build, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you know what they say in New York? You can make it in New York, you make can make it anywhere. anywhere. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, let me bring these same Hopefully vibes. Let me bring these same vibes I had up there because I had shit rocking. I'm talking events with like 400 people coming through mm -hmm. of the strength of us. Me and Rap School, uh, which was the crew, shout out to Rap School, you know what I'm saying? And we was... It was like, I named still ring bells out there. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yo, let me change some shit. You, my bad. You had a group? Well, it was, uh, it was like a collective. Mm -hmm. Collective of artists and shit. We used to throw these events every Sunday. And it just elevated, to. We used to just do it in, like, this brownstone crib we had. Then we had to get another crib. Then we had to get, like, just big-ass places and shit because there was too many people that was coming through and Lit. shit. You know what I mean? But, yeah, so just doing that shit. And it was like, yo, I need a different space. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Especially when you leave where you at. You get more love from home because you're not there and they don't have access to you. And then you're getting new love wherever you at because they don't know you are, but they like your shit. 
So I was Ain't like, that shit, shit crazy? That's, yeah, it's crazy. But shit, that I is was the like, weirdest fuck paradox. It. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. How the and fuck? since I've been out here, my shit, like, man, niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. on it. Yeah. It's on it. Crazy. That's weird, bro. Yeah. How the fuck people at home, they not taking you serious. They're like, yeah, I fuck with your music. they can see you every day. Mm. They can see you every day. Like, niggas still hit me up. Yo, fam, I miss you, you know what I'm saying? Yo, where you, you been accessible. at? And shit like that. And then your energy, too. They miss your energy. When your energy is sucked out of a place, because, like, they knew when I was at certain places and shit, when I pulled up, yeah. it was like, all right, this is the place to be, because this nigga hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. Now it's like, I don't have that signal out. Like, yo, this tonight, or this tonight. Now nah, nigga send me, yo, fan, you back yet? Nah, nigga, I'm still down the floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm out here on the beach, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They already in winter coats and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm so it, it was just like, I just needed a, a change in life. You know what I'm saying? And you know, lo and, uh, ho- uh, lo and behold and shit, like, you know how you have like premonitions? And like dreams and shit, and you dreamed about some shit. Like mm-hmm. since I've been, I caught like mad. Um, uh, uh, what's that shit called when you felt like you did that shit already? Oh, you talking about um? Possibilities is infinite. <laughs> Possibilities is infinite. <sighs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, it was a deja movie. Vu. Yeah, deja vu and shit. So I've been getting deja like vu. mad deja vu, saying you know eleven, eleven, eleven. You know what I'm saying? It's like. I was, yo, you know what's crazy? I made a uh, fucking music video. Me and Khaled, we had dropped the EP called um, Fly Khaled, Shit On wait, it. hold on. Who who you talking about? Khaled. Khaled and DJ girl. Khaled? No, Khaled and I know, I know, nigga. I'm just, you got to let the people fucking know. That. I already, oh, I man. just let them know who Khaled well, I'm was. I'm high. <laughs> you gotta let me know. Nigga. I just said his name. Okay, Khaled. I just Do you said know his name. Instagram Khaled too Anderson. And all that? Khaled Anderson. Khaled, Khaled Anderson, Anderson, man. Khaled Anderson, you know what I'm He's a dope producer. Rapper, rapper and producer. All that indeed, shit, indeed. Dog. Yeah, um, yeah. Fuck, what was I talking Oh, yeah, Deja Vu. So Deja Vu, I've been seeing 11, 11 a lot. And me and him had dropped the video. This was like probably two years ago, two, three years ago. Called, um, it was to the, uh, the title track to the mix, to the EP, Fly Shit Only. Yeah. And it was a cartoon video. And in the cartoon video, we flew from New York down here to Florida to meet like a bunch of shorties in the hangar and shit. Yeah, yeah. But I never knew that I would end up going down here. We met up in Florida. It was no shorties in the hangar, but it was eventually. <laughs> nah, I get but it. But it was like, you know what I'm I saying? Like, I put it into the story, into my simulation of life. You know what mm. I'm saying? So it's already imprinted and the shit happened and shit. So now I've just been going through life on just, uh, just a float. Like, just going with the shit and not being too pressured on what's happening next, what's happening next. Mm-hmm. Just doing what I got to do because I know it's a path that... It's gonna happen, and I don't really have control, but I have control. Yeah, that makes sense. No, I know what you mean, but it don't sound like you're lazy with it. You know what I mean? Kids, that don't mean sit (laughs) on your ass and you know. No, you still gotta work, but you can't like when things go wrong, you don't don't like damn shit is over, like shit is a wrap. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like I see what else you can do, Mm because a lot of times things go wrong for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I found out like some of my best shows was the show i mean some of the best shows i put on were the shows where everything else was fucked up in the back but no one knew you know what i'm saying because i keep it cool i'm a cool cat you know what i'm saying and i make sure shit happens so in the background shit is insane <laughs> but to the naked eyes like yeah this was smooth <laughs> yeah yeah real shit dog. real talk real you don't be shit. understanding that shit yo but it's, every day is a learning experience every day mm-hmm. and if you don't learn something new every day then you're not living. I don't know what the fuck you should be doing. Real talk. You're yeah. not learning. You're mm-hmm. not living, nigga. L. You got to take that L and then turn around, learn from that L. You feel me? Facts, yeah. A lot of niggas Facts. take that L and they just be like, mm-hmm. that's it. I said that in a song, too. We don't take bridge. We don't take L's. They just lessons. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Forget the stressing. You know what mm. I mean? Shit like that. Go ahead, nigga. Keep going. <laughs> we got time, man. We ain't going nowhere. Keep going, nigga. <laughs> nah, I can you with the interview. What's up? Uh, <laughs> what else you want to know? Yeah, man. Wolf. <laughs> All right, check it out. So, being that we in Florida, um, what what's some what's some like spots or uh, things that really really uh, incite you while you've been here? Like, really caught your eye. Like, is it other artists? Is it events, um, companies, anything? What, what really over here really sparked you? That moolah? That bread? That money, that baby. You talking about that bread? <laughs> I'm talking about that cash, cake, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know. But I know. yeah, but um, I mean, not only that, you know what I'm saying? Just the environment in general. It's like, especially being in New York and shit. I mean, coming from New York, it's like uh, paradise out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to go down to Miami. It's like, it's crazy now. I've been down to college so many times. Like, I'm used to it now. I'm just out here. Like, you know what I mean? You always in shit. Miami, man. You know what I mean? It's like, I know the niggas out there now. Like, yeah. yo. What up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but hard. it's just like, um, it's just like, like how I moved to NY and shit. I would yeah. be different spaces, different. And then people, more people uh, recognize me more. They see me more, which attracts them more to what the hell I'm doing. Because they like, mm-hmm. yo, son, this nigga's working. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but he out here everywhere. So I need to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that gains you more fan base. And then people who just want to work with you, just want to vibe with you and shit and just see your mindset. And they then, see you acting. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then it's different, too, because... I'm going to work harder than the people that's already out here because they already out here. So they don't think anything is out here. I see mad potential everywhere because I'm like, listen, yo, this is new. Listen, this is listen, like, listen. You know what I mean? Bro, fame <laughs> is one of the hardest working niggas, bro. No. I pop up to random events. I just be like, let me roll the dice. Let me go over here. He's there. <laughs> I could leave that event, go to another event. <laughs> yeah. That nigga there too. <laughs> dead ass. He omnipresent. Dead ass. Real shit. Dead ass. Yeah. Dead ass. He omnipresent, bro. Sure. How do you do this shit? For What's sure, the man. They call me Mr. Everywhere. You everywhere, know what I'm saying? Yo, it's the networking, man. The networking. They say your network is your net worth. You know what I'm got saying? You. The more people you know, the more places you go. Bro, you feel shit. me? I fuck with that. That's but where you get talk. your energy from, man? Because niggas be like, I need to get caffeine. I need to get this Coke, this ecstasy. Bro, I felt like... This perky. What, what I've learned 30. through life... <laughs> what I've learned through life is your body gives you energy for what you supposed to be doing in life. Can you say that one more time? I don't think they heard it. Your body will give you the energy for what you supposed to be doing in life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When people be like, yo, I'm so tired of this job and going to this job and shit, you be tired, because you're not supposed to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your body will give you the energy for other shit that yeah. you're passionate about. Like, I'm <laughs> passionate about doing this shit. You, you like, I always say, like, if you don't go to sleep thinking about it and wake up and that's the first thing you think about, that's not what you should be doing and shit. Mm. It should be something else. You know what I'm saying? I'll yeah. go to sleep on music and I'll wake up on music. You know what I'm saying? Shit. It's like, yo, what I got to do today for this shit? But what if Who you I wake up eat, talk, thinking about bullshit like porn? If you wake up thinking I mean, about finances. I mean, the, the, main, the main thought. Of course, you wake up with mad thoughts. Yo, I'm on it. I want to smash some. Yeah, what I'm going to eat for breakfast. But yeah. the main thought of the day is what, I'm on, what am I going to do for the music? After all this other bullshit. Really you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, those are little thoughts. Talking about the major thought and shit of the day and shit. So, and with that, I just find any... Like, yo, bro, I don't even be... Like, last night, I was in the club till 3. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I woke up at 9, 20, because mm-hmm. the stock market opened. I had that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get my shit all together and shit, because I do that too. Trading, crypto, options, all that shit. You got to have okay. multiple incomes. Yeah, multiple know what I'm saying? Streams. Especially living in New York. You got to have multiple incomes. That's why I do this, that, and the third. Yeah, know you, can't you can't be broke do in New York. One thing. You can't be broke know in New saying? York. I don't think Fact. that really happens I mean, like that. you are actually are broke in New York, but you're not broke because you're in New York. You rich in Florida if you broke yeah, in New York. Yeah, exactly. Basically, basically. Yo, word, because I'm looking for spots and shit, and niggas is like, yeah, son, that shit is a lot of bread. It's like 1800 for a three-bedroom. You're like, that's a blessing. Bro, that's a one-bedroom in New York with roommates yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying but it's a nice one but you got like at least one roommate or some shit but yeah but y'all fucking it up now though a lot what? of niggas from New York not y'all but a lot of people from up north come down I'm here dying, yeah. and they're like damn it's just that much but Floridians are like damn it's this that much though yeah like, exactly I can't, we like oh I can't do that I can't do that man two of us but 15, they got a two bedroom, 1500? What? Bro. You can make real shake Bro, I'm with just two. Like, oh. hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Like, Let's put the mic in. Yeah. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm walking around like I'm fucking Mr. No. Monopoly, dude. Yeah. No, this is real, real shit. Walking this is how you know this is real. Monopoly, yo. Like, shit crazy. Bro. Let me see if it's recording. This is how you know this shit is live. My shit about to fall, too. <laughs> God damn. Real talk. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, it's it's still recording. Yeah, yeah. Show the camera your jewelry, man. Show it right here. Show them your jewelry. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Well, let me see. What's the, what's the meaning behind your name, bro? <clears throat> well, my name originally was Famous, but it was spelled F A M E mm. dash U S. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And behind that, because it was like a whole bunch of us and shit in high school and shit, we was dropping mixtapes all that. Mm-hmm. And the the meaning behind that was no matter the fame, it's still us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because they would always call me famous because I used to act like I was famous. I used to walk around. I was definitely a popular kid and I knew everybody. I knew the hood niggas and I knew the jocks. Like, sure. I was just in every circle and shit just as I was a cool dude. So they would call me famous and shit. As I got older, I transitioned to fame life. You know what I'm saying? And the fame life became an acronym for the way I live and the way I do business, which is fearless, ambitious, motivated, and elevated. You know, that's the smoke. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lifestyle. So it's fame, life. And I put it together like that, and it just kind of stuck and shit. You know what I'm saying? So the name got evolutionized to just being regular famous to now this is a life now that I live. Fame, life. You feel me? Fame, life. And that lifestyle consists of? being fearless ambitious motivated and elevated you know what i'm saying you gotta be fearless going for your goals you gotta be ambitious going for them and life in general and motivated you to gotta keep day. your spirits up no matter the negative get you that shit yeah. and the elevation keeps you grounded Real time. Nigga, for the second time second time Hey man, it's my line. <laughs> I'm not trying to get my car towed. The elevation keeps you grounded. To this day. Hey, hear me when I say that. The elevation keeps you grounded. You feel mm. me? To this mm. day. That's big. For sure. To Real this shit. day. For sure. For sure. Man, what made you choose music though? <coughs> like, well, could have been anything, nigga. I would say music chose me. You know what Damn. I'm saying? Like, you never know what's your purpose in life. A lot of people, life. The, the key to life is learning your purpose of life. You know what I'm saying? So what happened with me is like, just the things around me. I grew up, a lot of my family was doing me. I had an uncle who was a DJ. My aunts, they had a singing group. <coughs> my grandfather played guitar. It was just like music was always around me for some reason and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was exposed to a lot at an early age. Like I'm two years old dancing and singing Michael Jackson word for word. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm bad, I think, with my first words type shit. You know what Hmm. I'm saying? So it was just like, music made me the martyr to put out a message. You know what I'm saying? And make people feel good and make people motivated and, you know, just have them feel in a certain type of way because it's like one thing that's funny, like every time I get like kind of like discouraged or feel down about, yo, this shit ain't popping off like I wanted to or this ain't go how I wanted to. It's like out of nowhere, somebody would hit me up, a fan, a friend, somebody, <coughs> excuse me, and they'd be like, yo, bro, I just listened to such and such, yo. That song is fucking dope, bro. I listen to it every day. I download Yo, this joint motivate. I listen to this every morning. It's just something that put me back up. Like, yo, I'm not doing this for me. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this for other people. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, the moves that I make is helping them be better at life than they were the day before they heard my music. You know what I'm saying? And then other for other artists that are my peers that I've worked with or is below me and shit like that is more so it helps them to raise their awareness. Like, yo this nigga moving man, I could do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I see he everywhere, I could do this shit too. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> so it's just the fact of the music that I'm making being motivating for other people and other artists and that I'm also giving a message through it is just helping me be better. You know what I'm saying? At life. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, like I said, I didn't choose music, music chose me and now I'm just going along with the path that is set for me to be on and the messages that it's set for me to give to the public. You feel me? That's what's up. <coughs> Being said, what, what motivates you? Like, what, what motivates you to that goal, though? The, um, well, it goes full circle. Shout out the full circle. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But it goes full circle right back into the the message that I'm delivering. It's like, and 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 the things that I'm portraying for others to see that they can be like this. Like you never like I have three uh, younger siblings, three little sisters, and they all doing something in the fields of what I was doing when I was young. One is doing like uh um she does <coughs> trading now, but she uh, she played a lot of basketball. 
I was playing. She's the youngest. I was playing basketball all the time. One uh, wants to be in sport casting. Me and my dad sitting there watching sports all the time. Know what I'm saying they watching me play sports. My other sister, she was working in um, like uh, on reality shows and hip hop and stuff. It's all things that I was involved in yeah. that I didn't notice that they was you know what I'm saying watching the shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you never know who's watching. So what motivates me not only is I have to still make even though my path is set, I still have to make certain moves. But life is about choices. For you real. make the right choice, Facts. you make the wrong choice. Facts. You have paths that set. But it depends on the choices you make. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I know it's not just going to come to me. I have to go out and get it. But the more I go for it, the more it's going to be accessible. Because I'm putting in the work to go get the shit. I'm not waiting for it to come. You know what I'm saying? So that's what motivates me to get up. It's like, yo, I know I'm, I know I'm going to be here. But I have to do these little things to get there. Because it's not just going to come to me. I have to put in the steps to get upstairs. You know what I'm saying? You got to go one step, two step, three step, four step. Then you're going to be on the second floor and then so on and so on. So that's the thing that motivate me to keep on moving and keep on going because I know I got to take those steps. The tedious little work that a lot of artists don't even know about. Mm -hmm. But the more I learn, the more I earn. You feel me? So that's the thing that motivates me to keep going because I know I got to show people how to do it in this fashion. Because everybody made it in a different way and they just watching to see how the next person going to make it and why they made it and shit like that. So I'm like an example. I'm showing niggas, yo, this is the footwork you gotta do. And that's yeah. why you see me everywhere. Some artists like to be hidden, some yeah. artists like to be out. Yeah. I like to be out so you can put the face for to the vibes. Be <laughs> you outside for me? real. You be outside for all the sure. time, nigga. All exactly. the time. <laughs> exactly. God damn. You gotta see what it is. Cause once you see me a lot, mm -hmm. then I just disappear. That's when I pop. Mm -hmm. And they be like, damn, say, yo, where this nigga at? Yo, I don't yeah, see this nigga. Sure. It's a reason. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, saying? You really be out there, dog. It's a reason. <laughs> How you handle with all that frequency, though? Like, uh, you know, some people might be intimidated by so much, um, you know, being out there, being exposed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, at the same time, I pick and choose. I'm big on energies. Mm -hmm. So I pick and choose the places I'm going to be, how long I'm there, just off the energy that other people are displaying. You know what I'm For saying? Right. I watch, I read the room heavy. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And I'm like, I, I can, in certain places that I go that I'm comfortable in certain places that I'm not fully comfortable, so I'll limit my time there. Or I'll see what's going on in those places and shit. Mm -hmm. But as far as being out there, since I'm new here, I want to be that face that's recognizable. Because mm -hmm. now, after, you know what I'm saying, the groundwork is put in, once you see my posters, once you see this, it's like, oh shit, I know this dude. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this shit because yeah. I know something. You know yeah, what I'm sure. saying? The more they see me working, the more they're gonna really attract right. towards yeah. you because they like, okay, this nigga is really moving. Mm -hmm. I need to fuck with this nigga. I don't know what he's doing, but I need to fuck with him because he's everywhere where I'm at and I'm at the popping spots. And now that I know he's here and then he got all this weed in, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm time, saying? Man. Like, he's got his business here and another business. <laughs> you feel Holy me? Shit, dog. So it's just like that, like, once they recognize that, mm -hmm. the more people gonna follow that. You know what I'm saying? They gonna see like, nah, this is the dude I need to talk with. This is the dude I need to link with, get with. So period. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't even gotta look at you, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. Nah, I give him a little something, something. I guess. Like, you want a straight freestyle, or Not just me. whatever, whatever. Whatever they want. I'm Superstar, they looking all. I'm just waiting on my movie role. Pierre Mar sneakers with the goofy soul. So to the beat though, I'm goofy go. Got them hoes jumping like my super yo's. I'm running these kids, I'm Rufio. Bandana with a model bad as a two year old. Been to the championship twice, I'm two and no. I've been killing shit for a while now, no funeral. Old ass cougar bitch, put me in the rows. Places that I earn, young niggas don't wanna learn. Old niggas don't wanna teach. Orange couldn't get in peak. Sound like citrus, but it's business. Be a witness on my mission. Got another plan, like it with my other man. Driving with my. Hand. Drinking with my other hand, new black Ben Sprinter. We gon' use the other van. Man, try to bat me with the left, use the other hand. Told him how I take a grand and make another grand. They asked me coming back then why. I told him I'm stuck in sand. Bad stripper bitch from Miami. Oh, she let me fuck again. Kill that shit. For real, nigga, I'm talking Son of Sam. Cool colors, low song. Look like the Blues Brothers play the win. Killer in that water. We seen Jason swim. Give a bitch an inch, she probably taking 10. Son, one and eight grams. <laughs> Made him pay for 10. Ballin' my G Electric. Go <laughs> 
is so the slam Situation getting hectic I feel I'm closing in Before I catch wreck Yo, I told my son Hold my pen We a pack of wolves Gorillas, lions, and Doberman Sinister grant Sinister pen Finish him Fame life You know what I mean? Woo! <laughs> that was <laughs> serious That was <laughs> serious Wow. Yo. Indeed, indeed. Fame life, you know what it is, man. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Get with the music. Fame life, that's two words everywhere. F A M E L I F E. On my socials, it's call me fame life. The whole that's situation, right. I Get mean. Right. Get on that band camp. Pay for the music because it's art. You know what I'm saying? Bitch. An artist don't paint pictures just for the to hang up. I mean, yeah, you gotta support. You know I mean, how we gonna grow if you ain't got no support? You rather buy that Louis that Gucci indeed, indeed. right here? This is straight quality, baby. Yes, sir. This is Come good on. ass fucking music. Bobby fucking music. Like I oh, said, thing like twelve. She don't know what it is. It's a different world. Shut I'm up. just trying to get a nut, but I ain't a squirrel. Everything I do is swirl. I mean, swell. <laughs> what hell? We happen, we rapping. Shout out to my boy Face. You know what we do. Appreciate money, you, man. Scrapping. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So it's been another interview yes. with Face. I've been yeah.